All right, this is how you install LibUSB on Windows Vista 64-bit. First, download the file in the description and extract it, and open Add Hardware Wizard, and run INF Wizard. Click Next. All right, your devices, USB devices are listed here. If you have an iPod or some other device, plug it in now and select it. Mine's in recovery mode right now, but I also have another device. It doesn't really matter. Click next, click next. All right, I get to save this setup as anything you want. I'm just gonna name it setup. And make sure it's saved in the same folder. So copy this. And as you can see, it's the same folder. Add hardware wizard and click save and finish. You'll now have setup listed right here. All right, the next step is to run this file in your start menu. Just type it in and press enter. And the add hardware wizard will appear. If this doesn't show up, there's another way to do this. Go into control panel and search add hardware. Install drivers for older devices with add hardware wizard. It will also bring it up. Either way it works. Click next. Install manually from a list. Advanced. Next. Show all devices. Next. I'm going to click have disk. All right, now you have to navigate to the same folder again. and find setup, file you just made, click OK, click next, and click next. If you get this warning here, just say install driver anyway, and wait for that to install. Alright, if you get this here, just close that, click finish, and now that's done. Go back to the first folder. Now install libUSB in compatibility mode, right click on this file, click properties, go to compatibility, run in compatibilities for Windows XP Service Pack 2, click apply, ok, now install this, just like normal install this, wait for that to finish, don't run the test because it's not going to work right. Alright, the last thing you have to do is install Ready Driver. Every time you start up your computer, you have to press F8, and then you have to disable driver uh, checks. If you don't do this, you'll get the blue screen of death. But Ready Driver does this for you automatically, so just install this. Just click next for all these instructions. If you dual boot your PC or you run two different operating systems, you may have to go back here and change this to a different number of keystrokes based on what operating system you load. But if you just have one version of Windows on here, then you can just leave it and just click Max for everything. Alright, now you can restart your computer and you come back and everything should work. Reboot will automatically select wrote disable signature checks for you. If it doesn't and you get the blue screen of death, just press F8 and select disable signature checks. It's the second one from the bottom. And if that fails, you can always run safe mode and uninstall with USB, which will uh, make Windows run normally. So we'll restart now and we'll come back and see if it works. It's restarted and now let's test this out. Go to start menu, type in test program. And if lots of devices are listed here, like my iPod is listed here, then you've successfully installed LibUSB for Windows Vista 64 bits.